Here are three ways to last longer in bed that you probably don't hear about often. Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Ganowski, sexologist and sex coach for men. I've been working with just men for six years now, helping them with their dick problems and also their communication problems when it comes to sex. I've personally helped hundreds of men improve their dick issues and their sex communication issues. When it comes to premature ejaculation or simply just wanting to last longer, if you don't technically have premature ejaculation, you hear the same things all the time, like edging or breathing really Really deep, right? Kegels. These things are great. They do work, but there are other things that work as well that you probably don't hear of very often. So I'm going to share three of those with you. So the first technique you can use to last longer in bed that you may not have heard of before is really understanding your dick sensitivity. So this means that there are certain parts of your dick that are more sensitive than others. And if you could take advantage of that fact of like understanding your body and knowing which parts are more sensitive and which ones aren't, then you can play around with different sex positions and ask your girlfriend to give you a hand job a certain way or a blow job a certain way. Or you know when to speed up using a certain area of touch and when to slow down because you have that body awareness. Second tactic to help you last longer that maybe you don't hear of very often is shallow penetration. If you are starting off your sex experience with shallow penetration, meaning you're not going all the way inside of her, you're going just a little bit or it's just very shallow like she's going over the tip. So starting off in a way where it is just the tip or a little more and doing that for about a minute or so and then going a little deeper and a little deeper and then going more intense and picking up the intensity and the making it more fast paced is something that may work for you. It's definitely worked for clients of mine. The third tactic to help you last longer that you may not hear very often is using masturbation as a tool to understand your arousal. So this means if you're thinking about a certain image and it gets you really hot really fast, take it down to an image that's not so intense. And by image, I don't necessarily mean porn. You can create your own imagery. So you can create your own visuals and your own creative story in your head. Like what is the fantasy you're thinking of? And if you notice you get really horny really fast, ask yourself, all right, what can I think about that won't take me that far this soon and still keep me in a sexual place? And this helps you to not steer away from the moment when you're having sex with someone. So you won't, you'll get out of that habit of being like, right, think about baseball, like think about something totally random. Like, no, you don't have to do that. You just got to lighten the, lighten the visual, <laughs> right? Like make it less intense. So if you can, if you can train your body to go from this intense visual and feeling and thought to something that's not as intense and then you notice your arousal going down a little bit then you have more control over that mental stimulation that you can use in your favor even when with a partner so see how this is helpful in helping you gauge where you are in terms of your arousal levels and noticing where your point of no return is and what type of imagery takes you there and then knowing what images help you kind of cool down and calm down. So that's another tactic. It's more mental, it's more psychological, but it's something that you could train yourself and over time it really does work. Those are three tactics to help you slow down when it comes to ejaculating and you may not hear them often, but they have worked for multiple clients of mine. They may work for you too, so why not give them a shot? Hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.